I'm Meg. Welcome to Plant Fit Meg. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I hope you'll take a look around at some other videos while you're here. I make videos about healthy weight loss, simple plant-based recipes, and living a healthy lifestyle. Today I'm coming at you with another what I eat in a day video. You guys seem to enjoy these and like seeing what I'm doing and what works for me and I hope it gives you some nice ideas and some recipes that you can try for yourself and tweak and make your own and jazz them up or do what you will with them. So today I'm sharing my pumpkin spice waffle recipe and apple cinnamon date sauce. So good! So exciting! I'm also going to be sharing my marinara sauce with zoodles and my vegan Caesar dressing for lunchtime. Super simple, yummy. I actually had it as leftover, so it was really easy to throw together. Super simple. I love leftovers. If you've been on the channel before, you know how much I love leftovers. And for dinner, I'll be sharing a falafel hack. So it's not exactly a recipe, it's a somewhat processed product made out of whole food ingredients, and I'll show you how I put it together to be oil-free and delicious. I also have hummus and tzatziki with that, so I'll share uh, those as well. As always, all the printable recipes will be linked below, whether they're my recipes or someone else's. Most of the recipes I use today are mine, but one is not. So the tzatziki recipe is from Chuck from Brand New Vegan, so I will link to his recipe below as well. So definitely check him out if you haven't already. That recipe is delicious. I also share a little bit of what we did throughout the day, so I hope you really enjoy this video. If you like it, give it a like, subscribe below if you haven't already, and with that, let's just get right into it. All right, breakfast time. Time for pumpkin spice waffles. We use the Cuisinart Griddler with waffle plates, and we absolutely love this appliance. It is non-stick with no oil, super easy to clean and we use it very often. We really enjoy it. I'll leave a link to it below. I'm adding banana, pumpkin, oats to my food processor. We have the 11 cup KitchenAid food processor that works really well. Adding some flaxseed, some baking powder, some cinnamon, non-dairy milk, and water. And we just blended that up until it was nice and smooth. So we have this yummy batter consistency, popped it on the waffle iron, closed the lid, and after about 10 minutes we have these yummy waffles. While we're making waffles I'm also preparing some broccoli, just throwing it in the microwave quickly so I can have that with breakfast as well. We also like to put our waffles in the oven to stay warm as we're making multiple batches. Next up, I'm preparing our apple cinnamon date sauce. Super simple, it's just applesauce, some date syrup, and some cinnamon. That's it, super duper easy. It's such a fresh, fruity, spicy flavor, and I absolutely love it on top of these pumpkin waffles. Good morning, it's breakfast time, and I have my water here. I also have a lovely cup of coffee that Chris made for me. And I'm getting started on my breakfast with my broccoli with, topped with hot sauce and nooch. One of my favorite combinations, Frank's Red Hot and nutritional yeast. Super delicious, super yummy. So I'm gonna dig into this. Ryden and Chris are actually having broccoli this morning too. Surprise, surprise. So that's fun. So if you hear a little noise in the background, that's what's going on. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my lovely bowl of broccoli and then I'm going to come back and have my waffles. Pumpkin spice waffles. So good. So delicious. Topped with an apple cinnamon date sauce. So yummy. I'll be back in a bit. All right, I just finished my big bowl of broccoli. It was delicious, and now I'm going to dig in to these yummy waffles. So excited. Mmm. Really, really yummy. I'm excited to dig into the rest of this. We haven't made these specific 
waffles in a while so I'm really glad that we dug out that recipe and decided to give it another go and have it again and enjoy it super delicious I love the apples on top too it just adds some crispness and some yummy flavor so I'll link the recipe below if you want to check it out. I believe we have a recipe video for this one as well, so I'll link that if we have it <laughs> below as well. And I'll be back when it's time for a snack or lunchtime. See you in a while. And this is round two of my waffles. After breakfast, we decided to go blueberry picking, so we had a lot of fun going blueberry picking together. We filled up this uh, two liter bucket and it was a really good time. We would definitely go blueberry picking again. We've gone apple picking together before and I'm sure we'll go and do that in the fall. Barry had a sunflowers there as well. So we decided to grab a bunch of sunflowers. They're so pretty. It's lunch time. So I'm gonna put together a yummy salad and some zoodles with marinara sauce. All right, we got back from berry picking and I'm ready to put my lunch together. I showed you the ingredients, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it all together. I'm starting with some kale here. Ooh, making a mess. <laughs> adding a bit of romaine lettuce, adding some peppers and onion. I'm gonna go ahead and add my Caesar dressing and mix it all up. I just wanted to show you how thick this is. I made this recipe using the oats and so it's quite thick after being in the refrigerator. So I'm going to add some water to this just to thin it out a little bit and put it over the top. I do like to leave the dressing a little bit thicker so that we can use it as a dip or a spread and then if I want to use it as a salad dressing I just add a little water to thin it out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up. Mommy, that looks so yummy. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, it looks so big and yummy. I'm having a bit of a smaller salad today. If you've seen previous <laughs> What I Eat In A Day videos, they're usually quite a bit larger than this but it's a bit later in the afternoon and we're gonna have dinner soon. So I'm having a bit of a smaller lunch today. There's my salad, all done and ready to go. What type of dressing did you put on? Caesar dressing. Okay, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. All right, next up I'm having some zucchini noodles. I just have some left over in the fridge. And I have some of my homemade marinara sauce here, also some leftovers. This time around, we added red lentils and bulgur wheat to the marinara sauce just to bump it up a little bit and add some more texture and nutrition and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna add quite a bit of sauce here. And there we go. Okay, I'm ready to dig into my lunch. I have this lovely Caesar salad, homemade Caesar dressing of course have recipes linked below. Mmm, so good. And I have my zucchini noodles, my zoodles, with my marinara sauce here. Dig into this as well. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna finish up my salad and my zucchini noodles. Really yummy, easy to throw together, had a bunch of leftovers. So I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll be back for snack time. More likely I'll be back for dinner time because it is quite late in the afternoon. I don't think I'll be having a snack before dinner. So I'll see you at dinner time. Oh, and I also have my water here as per usual. Cheers. 
So tonight for dinner, we're going to be making some falafel. We do sometimes make falafel by, from scratch in the food processor with chickpeas and spices and stuff, but we sometimes also like to purchase this. It's the Cedar Phoenicia falafel mix, and it's made with ground fava beans, ground chickpeas, spices, baking powder, cornmeal, salt, dehydrated onion, dehydrated garlic, parsley, sodium bicarbonate, corn flour, and wheat flour. And the instructions are to prepare it in oil, but we just bake them in the oven. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to share how we hack this and make it work for us for an oil-free version um, because the ingredients themselves don't have oil, but the instructions say to fry them. We just bake them. Yeah, and they're really yummy. They're really yummy. And so they do take a little bit of time to prepare. We have to let this mix soak for about an hour and then make the patties and bake them. So it takes a little bit of time, but it's uh, not labor intensive. So we're gonna go ahead and put these together for dinner. Yep. Yep. All right, I'm gonna add the falafel mix to my bowl here. Oh, it smells really good. And I'm going to add my water to the bowl and give it a mix. All right, it's all mixed. So I'm gonna let it stand for about an hour and then I'll come back and show you how we bake them. All right, so my falafel mix has been sitting for about an hour. I just put some rice in the Instant Pot, so that's coming up to pressure, and I have preheated my oven to 375 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I just put these out on a baking tray, pretty simple. I'm just using a little ice cream scoop, a little cookie scoop, smallest one that I have, and I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the mixture onto my baking sheet and it's as easy as that. I'm just gonna go through and flatten them slightly. All right, all ready to go in the oven. As I mentioned, my oven is preheated to 375. I'm going to pop them in the oven for about 15 minutes and then I'll flip them and put them back in for another 10 to 15 until they're golden brown. So this is the hummus and tzatziki that I've already prepped. As I previously mentioned, the hummus recipe is my hassle-free hummus recipe. I'll leave that linked below as well as Chuck from Brand New Vegan, his tzatziki recipe, I'll link that below as well. I just have some greens here and some carrot. So I went ahead and shredded some carrot, chopped up some greenery and I'm gonna go ahead and put it together. So I'm just adding some kale and some spinach to my plate. Adding my shredded carrot on top, mixing it up a bit, adding some rice on top. I had the rice cooking in the Instant Pot. We love using the Instant Pot for rice. It makes it perfect every time. And here I am adding some falafel over the top. making a beautiful and delicious salad. And of course I can't forget my sauces. So here's my hummus going over the top here. I just add a dollop and then I sort of mix everything together once I get in there. But here I am just adding the hummus and the yummy tzatziki. And on top of the hummus, I'm just sprinkling a little bit of parsley and some smoked paprika. And on top of the tzatziki, I'm just adding a little bit of extra dill. And there we go, ready to go, ready to dig in. So delicious, so beautiful. All right, I'm back and it's dinner time. This plate is so epic, I'm so excited to dig into it. Arden wants to say hi. Hi. <laughs> How's your dinner so far? It's really good. 
Everybody's having the exact same stuff. Mom's having it a little bit different, but. Yeah, Mom's having a lot more greenery, right? And I'm just having pita, broccoli, and rice, and tzatziki sauce. And falafel. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I think it's really good. Mm-hmm. I agree. Very good. Mm. <laughs> mm. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. Super delicious. Very easy to put together. A little bit time consuming with the falafel because you need to let it sit for a while and then pop it in the oven for a bit, but Super easy to do, delicious. Very excited to dig in and finish this. And I'll be back in a little while with dessert. Or snack. Yeah, a snack probably of some kind. <laughs> Last but not least for the day, I'm making myself some tea, some peach tea, and a little bowl of fresh blueberries and some pineapple. Such a yummy combo, super simple snack to end the night. Just something sweet and yummy with the warm tea, love it. So Chris and I are gonna hang out, chat, watch some Arrested Development, and that'll be the end of our night. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you liked it, remember to give it a like and subscribe below if you haven't already. I also wanted to thank you so much for being a part of the Plant Fit Meg community, for liking videos, watching videos, sharing them, leaving comments and having a chat with me in the comment section. Uh, this little community, our little corner of the internet is growing bit by bit and it's so nice to see the community growing and to see you guys interacting with me and interacting with each other and sharing ideas and sharing tips and little tidbits of what has worked or not worked and it's so great to see other people's experiences and to, to share in community in plant-based living. It's so awesome to be sharing in this plant-based lifestyle, in this plant-based community. So thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here and watching the channel and being a part of our little corner of the internet. Let me know what your favorite meals are for the summer. If you have favorite recipes that you're using or anything like that, I'd love to hear it. I'm also considering filming a video with your suggestions, maybe a what I eat in a day video using some of your suggested meal ideas or recipes. So definitely leave me any suggestions in the comment section below. Also, if you have any questions for me in general, I'm planning on filming a Q&A video soon. So let me know if you have any questions you'd like answered and I'll be happy to include them in my Q&A video. On that note, I just filmed a plant-based weight loss series of three videos about my weight loss journey on a plant-based diet. I'll link it here in case you haven't seen it yet. And let me know what type of videos you'd like to see next. Uh, my next video will be a plant-based barbecue birthday celebration because it's right around my birthday and my husband Chris's birthday, so that'll be fun. But let me know what other types of videos you'd like to see. I'd love to hear your feedback and what you're interested in watching. Again, I want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here, especially if you're watching through to the very end of the video. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.